All right, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the new alerts on Unify Protect and some cool stuff you can do. So if you've updated recently to the new version of Unify Protect, I'm running version 5.0.51. And if sometimes your, your uh, alarms won't go off anymore because usually before it was on certain cameras, like individual camera you had to go to. Now there's a whole interface just for alerts. So we're gonna get into it right after this intro. All right, guys. So with this new update, it brings up, well, update passed because they've had a little update since then to fixing stuff. We're added to add other cameras now and everything like that, but the alerts have changed and they've added some cool things and it's freaking awesome. So once you log into your Unify Protect, you're gonna wanna go down, I'm not gonna show you any of my cameras, but you're gonna go down to this alarm manager. We're gonna click alarm manager and we got all these alarms. Look at all this right here. Just pre-done ones if you've had any or ones that you can do barking or whatever you wanna turn on. Now what you can do, you can select certain cameras themselves and see what they have in eight hours when something happened or event triggered or you can create alarms. And I've created alarms on this one. This one has a lot. So if we go to all, we're just gonna go back up here and just uncheck this. And I've created individual alarms. I've logged into this person's account and created them as they wanted me to. And I already had someone I was trying it out with this new system that says I created these ones, but these are theirs and theirs. Now, for each user, you can have different alerts. So for one user or different, different people can get these alerts different ways. So it's pretty dang cool. So let's say like your wife wants an alert, but yet you don't want that alert. Well, then you can set it where she gets it, but you don't get it. It's pretty freaking cool. But also when you want to create an alert, let's create one right now. What I like to do is name it. So let's just say like person front door, oops, front door. And then I want this uh, definition. We're gonna select the definition of the trigger. So we want person, because this is the person. Now, if you do line crossing and you have line crossing, since it's an AI feature, select it as person, vehicle, or whatever, you can select that too. So whether they cross the line in that camera or they are a person just detected by the camera, uh, it'll detect it and say, hey, if this is a person, let's notify you. So we got that, we'll hit save. Then here's the cool thing, we can select cameras. I don't want all, so we're just gonna say, let's say we select none, we're just gonna go to the front door. We'll just give an example. You can do, on any AI kit, uh, you can do the person recognition, or vehicle, or animal. We're just gonna do person, because I'm gonna set a certain trigger for this, so check this out. G4 doorbell, front door, we'll hit save. And you can do custom schedules if you want, certain times of the day, want it on or off. We're gonna hit always. Notification, send notification, or you can do webhooks too. You no know, webhooks, automatically send posts to your specific URLs, website, or whatever you want to send it to. Here's the cool thing right here, admins. We can select the admins, and we can change what we want of who we want to get it. It's freaking awesome. So you can select which of these persons want all or just one, and you can create multiple if you want another person too. And then the custom content. This is the coolest one of all. So this one, I want to say, if it detects a person, because this is a person only as we said it, only person, not motion, not anything else, just this person, we want it to say person front door. Or I could say anything. I hit create. So now we should see it up here this person front door so that means when somebody crosses the line or if i just have it for just the selecting just the person in the whole field of view if i don't have any line crossing it's automatically gonna send to my phone and when i pull it up it's gonna say person front door or i could say um unknown person front door or bad guy at front door you can say whatever you want and you could say or uh which camera like person backyard or person left side of house, backyard or whatever. You can have that on there so you know exactly what camera it is 
automatically so you don't have to go okay i got a detection okay where, which one was it? it's like no person in the backyard oh god they're in the backyard who should, nobody should be in the backyard or if you're like oh i'm expecting somebody person for oh that's just henry i'm expecting him or whatever so freaking cool but here's the next step you're gonna get an email automatically and if you don't like me or some people i know they don't want to get a freaking text on their phone or they don't want to get a freaking email at the same time some people do some people don't cool thing you have an option to change that all you got to do is go here and see how it says email alerts. You're going to want to make sure on the alerts that you disable all the ones that aren't the custom ones that you made. Otherwise, if you have person detection on in all cameras, you're going to get double. You're going to get the one that you custom one that you created for person detection and you're going to get another one by default of person detection that is coexists with all devices. So any device to get two rings at the same time. But hey, if you want two rings just to make sure, you can definitely do that too. But just wanted to put that out there for you. So uncheck and make sure that you only want to get the alerts from the alerts that you want so that you can pinpoint them. We don't want email. We want to take those off. And always, you can win to send. So if we click this, always. You can even edit it too. So if we click, we'll get it off here. Should have it. There you go. Custom schedule, never offsite, or so, you know, the geo restrictions. They have it on your phone if you allow it. So you can set it to, if you leave your house, you get the notifications. When, your phone, when it detects that your phone is at home, the system, your network, then guess what? <gasps> You're not gonna get notifications. It's freaking awesome. So apparently, instead, which it does take pain, we're gonna delete this one I just made. So I'm gonna go back and go back to view. And you can turn off all of them here too, just one click and turn them back on. But what we're gonna do is select this one, I'm gonna hit remove. But see how I did that? I have to go to each camera and set multiple vehicle and this. But with the new update that's coming out, I hear they're gonna have that where you can copy the stuff and just change the name. So it's gonna make this go quick and just change the camera. So it's gonna have like prerequisites that you can expand to the whole system. So it's just gonna make the fine tuning of this quicker, faster, and easier. But this is freaking cool. And I hope this guys help you. Hey, if you guys like these videos, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I do these videos for you. I thought this was freaking cool and I uh, wanted to show you and they changed and the little cool custom notifications you can get on your phone is really dang cool. So you can just see it quick and oh yep, oh or heck no, that shouldn't be there or he shouldn't be there. And the cool thing is too, let's say you have um, the motion detect a person through the whole camera, so anything that detects a person, but you could have a line crossing, let's say somebody crosses the refrigerator or if you just have, you can add multiple um, uh, camera uh, sensors. So if you have a sensor around a cookie jar on a shelf or something, and you could be like, it's cookie jar on shelf, cookie jar moved, or cookie jar, somebody put went in front of the cookie jar, and there's no way somebody could just walk by that. Like, oh, somebody messing with the cookie jar or whatever. It's pretty cool. But hey, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, and I'll catch you in the next video.